In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verses 17 through to 26. Now it happened on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who had come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Then, behold, men brought on a bed a man who was paralyzed, whom they sought to bring in and lay before him. And when they could not find how they might bring him in, because of the crowd, they went up on the housetop and let him down with his bed to the tithings and into the midst before Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said to him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered and said to them, Why are you reasoning in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Rise up and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. Immediately he rose up before them and took up what he had been lying on and departed to his own house glorifying God. And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, Who we have seen strange things today. They were filled with fear, and they said, We have seen strange things today. They were there listening to Jesus. And all of a sudden, this group of men carrying in a man, and because of the crowd, they couldn't get inside to place the man in front of Jesus. So they went up on the roof, removed the tiles, and then lowered him down through the roof, into the fr in front of Jesus. Strange, wasn't it, to see this happen? Many strange things happened that day. And there was this man, Jesus of Nazareth, who they came to listen to, to hear. Saying to this man, your sins are forgiven you. This is, as far as our concern, only God can forgive sins. This is blasphemy. How dare he say that? They are thinking to themselves. Yet Jesus perceived their thoughts in you. So he said to them, well, but to show you that the Son of Man, that is himself, Jesus, has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. And as we know, this is what happened. This man picked up what he was laying on and walked, glorifying God. 
for this miracle. Many people that day saw faith that these men had. They knew if they could get their friend who was paralyzed in front of Jesus, he would heal him. So there were many lessons today were all these people who were there watching watching these strange things happening in this house many strange things happen in our lives we don't always notice we don't always stop and think the miracles that happen around us every day. We become complacent in our ways. Jesus is teaching us all a lesson. We who are sinful can be forgiven just like this man who was paralyzed. Many of us are paralyzed and we don't even know it. Many of us, as we talked about the other day, are blind. Blind to the world and see the wickedness within it, the corruption that is in it. The world has blinded us. We do not see the goodness that is around us. Pray to the Holy Spirit every day that when you wake in the morning, pray that your eyes will be open your ears will be opened and you can hear and see and glorify God for everything that happens in your life that day. During this fasting period for Advent to celebrate that wonderful miracle it's more than a miracle God the Son he was, he became incarnate. He took on man, his form. God is spirit. He doesn't normally have a form as such. This may be a bit difficult also to understand. But this is what it's all about. God's Father sent his Son, became incarnate as man himself. The love of God is so great. His Son sacrificed himself to save us all. Glorify God for this every day that such a blessing was bestowed on us all. Accept it. Don't reject it. And this is a problem so often. People turn their backs on God. They enjoy it for a while, then they turn their back because the world blinds them to the beauty of God in all his glory that is around us. We are blind. We, like this man, are paralyzed and have difficulty doing anything at all. Pray for the faith like this, these men had, that they knew that their friend who was paralyzed could be healed. You too can be healed. You too can have your sins forgiven. 
Jesus Christ has the power to forgive you your sins. This has been given to the priests, the church. It is not the priest who forgives, but it is Jesus Christ. The priest is a mere instrument of Christ. Priests dedicate their lives to Christ and become his instruments to heal, to bless, to uplift in all things. Give the God the glory for all things in your lives, your blessings that you receive but are too blind to see. Ask God to forgive you your sins. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.